This is Jackie Helvey, and I'm here with Jerry Lynn Schulke, who is, has a new position she's going to tell us about. Um, she's been a member of this community for many years. First, tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. Um, I'm originally from Iowa. I studied theater and came to UNC to get my master's. That's what brought me to Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I moved away and came back in about 2006. I started working at the Art Center. I ran the Youth Performing Arts Conservatory there and then the theater there. Mm -hmm. um, in 2017, I worked at Playmakers as the Engagement and Education Director. Mm -hmm. um, and I just recently started full time with Downtown Chapel Hill as a Director of Arts and Culture. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So um, there's, you know, there, there's been so much crap happening over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Things have closed and, yeah. you know, um, reorganized. And so what this is a brand new position for you. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind in terms of um, sort of centralizing the arts mm -hmm. in Chapel Hill? Not just Chapel Hill, because Carver is a part of it too. Yes, so what are, what, are, what are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a number for downtown Chapel Hill. We have a number of mandates that the town wants to see, which is what we're doing. Um, the tree lighting is coming back for downtown and the community parade is going to be happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a tailgate party where we shut down Henderson Street. We will do more of those next year. Um, and music busking downtown is happening. I want to bring Second Fridays back as mm -hmm. a more um, cohesive, bigger event for both towns. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm dreaming and you know strategizing. The difficult thing is, as you said, there's empty storefronts, but they're not available storefronts necessarily. So finding spaces that um, things can happen in is also- That won't cost an arm and a leg That's to right, make exactly, happen. that's mm -hmm. right. So we can activate spaces with art installations or pop-up gallery space, you know, maybe dance or theater pieces in there. I'm just, you know, trying to strategize, so. It's a, uh, the, the it's wide open for you that's at right. this point. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, so you just started this, uh, the festival thing that mm -hmm. that happened, but it happened differently this year. Do you know anything about that? Oh yeah, yeah. So the town does festival, the town arts and culture team, mm -hmm. um, and they did this last year where they did it three different Saturdays. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, because Saturdays. it used to be like on a weekend yeah. or something. Yeah. and It was just like one Saturday all day long, and then they went to two days, I think, for a while, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Where they, and they actually blocked off the street, yes. and there yeah. were... Yeah. So how are they doing it now? So this year was at 140 West, so they used the plaza there, and oh, they shut okay. down the street, that little street, which is church? Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they shut down Church Street, and because it was going to be a smaller footprint, I think that's why they went to three weekends. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was super successful. Each oh, weekend, good. each weekend had different vendors, um, different performers. I I help supply musicians for festival, um, and just different activities. Mm -hmm. um, every week was just a little different, but it was. I think it was super successful for sure. Did they do a dance thing or anything like we that? We had a couple of USC dance teams perform, yeah. Um, and they had like Imagine Circus came. I think there was Paper Hand was there with a few people maybe. Mm -hmm. There was like a drum circle one week. So there were just different, both activities you could do, activities you could watch, plus the vendors, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they had like a printing press. Robbie Poor was there oh, a couple cool. of weeks. Yeah. Poetry Fox was there, of course. Um, UNC had a big um, steamroller printer press. Thing oh, that wow. They did. It was super cool. They were making these big prints, like like super big, that a little steamroller would go over and make. Oh, it that's was so, so fun. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, the, the town of Chapel Hill has their own arts thing. Yes. yes. And then just to be clear right. for people, sure. this is a different yeah. thing than yes. that. Yes, downtown Chapel Hill is what I work for. Mm -hmm. We're a small nonprofit. We are, uh, you know, about promoting downtown businesses and 
supporting downtown businesses and making the downtown vibrant and happening and clean and welcoming all those things so yeah the town arts and culture people they oversee the whole town so they write food truck rodeo a few weeks ago but that was out at Legion you know Legion Park yeah so they do things in the town and if they do it downtown we're involved but we are just focused on you know just the downtown area interesting yeah so how long has this nonprofit been in existence a long time yeah longer than I thought um, I knew Kazi Thomas, like I said, um, he had my position for a few years during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but Meg McGurk mm -hmm. used to run Downtown Partnership. Right, yeah, um, she was our uh, volunteer coordinator for years for the music festival. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So she, I mean, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. I mean, I would think that this entity, I don't know for sure, but 20 years maybe, mm. something like that. Um, but I only recently came aware of it, probably in the last year or so, mm -hmm. um, because I started noticing the buskers downtown. And I was like, who's coordinating that? And I saw Kevin and Kevin Kazi, mm -hmm. and uh, he was like, well, I'm doing the music downtown for downtown Chapel Hill. And that's how I got kind of like aware of the organization. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we're really about bringing the arts downtown is what my job is right. um, and any way in any form it can be happen which is you know when I was at the art center that's what I, I just looked for opportunities to art for artists to practice their art or showcase their art um, and that's basically what I'm doing I'm bringing art to businesses or to venues downtown um, and making those connections which I really find exciting so is the 140 the main property where is that the address where right. every most stuff happens or is it I mean that's be happening the, hopefully it'll be happening lots of different places mm -hmm. um, it's identifying those spaces that things can happen in which aren't a lot um, mm -hmm. in downtown but right. more are going to be created there's going to be small pocket parks eventually in different locations there's the courtyard area, which is kind of tucked away, but could be activated. Is that next to 440 mm. West Franklin? Uh, yeah. yeah. So courtyard, like where Vimalis is. Right? Oh, that oh, oh, courtyard. oh. Yeah. I would, oh, there's yeah. also, you know, that little, it's like a little park next to 440. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Like, I think that's university. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. So the university. The university isn't involved, or are they involved in any way with what you guys do? Um, yes. Um, you I, collaborate yes, with them? exactly. Mm -hmm. So I work with, sometimes I, I work with the town folks when mm -hmm. they do anything downtown. Um, and then Arts Everywhere is pretty much my main contact with university. So um, Catherine Wagner and Crystal Wu, who run Arts Everywhere, are my main connection. So I I don't know what that really is. That, Arts Everywhere. Yeah, they're kind of a subsidiary of um, CPA, um, but they oversee arts happening across campus. So anything that's arts related, um, from playmakers to a student group to arts and music and you know theater, they're kind of overseeing that and helping promote it. Um, making opportunities happen for them so i have hired like a few student groups to do different things downtown mm -hmm. um, and you know hope to do more of that um, so reaching into the arts community on campus and bringing them downtown to do things um, just bringing those two entities together the town and the university and using the arts to do mm -hmm. that so that's how i'll interface with arts everywhere right yeah it seems like there's a whole bunch of little groups doing their own thing mm -hmm. rather than yeah working together so your right. kind of goal is to get everybody to work together yes yeah. yes where it's appropriate everybody's mm -hmm. going to do their own thing Carver's right. going to have their own events and, mm -hmm. but where it's appropriate absolutely you know mm -hmm. so eventually someday maybe Carboro Film Festival could have an offshoot at the Varsity. I don't know. Right. I don't know. But, you know, things like that. Like, can right. we have conversations about bringing some things from both towns and work in conjunction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually did that last year with one of the films we showed yeah. at, at the Varsity. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anything like that that's possibility. Mm -hmm. I think it just strengthens all of our efforts. 
right. where there, where it's appropriate and seems right. Like Second Fridays, obviously, that's something that both towns do or want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing all of that together. Yeah, it'll be great to if you can revive that and b make it be a more cohesive yeah. thing because it does include both towns mm -hmm. and um, yeah. you know just helping the galleries bring more people yeah. in or any place that any hangs business, art. Any that's yeah. right, exactly. Like yeah. Epilogue, I'm sure will do it. You know, there's businesses I know that would be like, it, no problem, will be like, yes, we're doing it. Yeah, Open um, Eye used to do it yeah, too. Yeah, Open Eye, that's mm -hmm. right, all of those. You know, and Weaver Street Market used to be in it too, mm -hmm. but I don't know that they show art in there anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll be like something that will start small and we'll bring it back and then other business will be like, hey, we want to be part of this. Yeah, because you know? like we were saying, it was over 30 venues at one point yeah. in time. Yes, yes. So, And it's just really a way for people to bring people who maybe have never been to their business or their establishment or their venue. Exactly. Into their business. You know, the artist is promoting their space all month long, so, you know, it's going to drive foot traffic to their place. Yeah, and when you have a bunch of people participating, it, back in the day, Main Street on oh, Second yeah. Friday Art Walk, Absolutely. there were people everywhere, <laughs> yeah, you know. That's you right. could just walk from one venue to another. Yeah. Weaver Street Realty was another that's one. Right, yeah, that's that right, that's right. Yeah, should probably this and that. And yeah, all yeah, I love ones. this and I know, that. Yeah. And Woman Craft yeah. and NC Crafts Gallery. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, art venues, but yeah. beyond, even beyond that, yes, you know, yes, coffee yeah. shops and stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I even, there's a, a maker space on campus now and involving like makers, things that are like more, not necessarily just looking at art, but like making art. So like at the art center, maybe they have drop-in classes for making something or some kind of demonstration happening that night. So it's beyond, it, it can be both interactive and, you know, just viewing. Right. Um, so I, I, you know. And like we were talking about music, yeah, some of the venues absolutely. can have music. Yeah yeah. 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 It's exciting to think about just sort of reinventing mm -hmm. what, you know, bringing in some stuff that used to happen. Right. And sort of making it happen again. Yes. To, to make both towns more vibrant. Yeah. And to make feel, people feel like they want to go out on a Friday night. That's right. Exactly. You know, and they yeah. have some place to go. Right. So right. that's that's so fantastic. Yeah. And you're so good at what you do that I know you're going to be successful at I this. I hope so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm just so happy. I'm so glad you contacted me yes. and was so glad to hear mm -hmm. that you were at the helm of this yeah. because uh, I know you'll get things done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I'm like a persistent, you know, I just kind of keep... That's the way you got to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And I, I, if if something, you know, if something needs to change, I just adjust and change and whatever, but I just keep at it. Yeah. It's like a small, you know, mission I have. So if people want to mm -hmm. find the downtown, yeah. what's it called again? Downtown <laughs> Chapel. We're just Downtown Chapel Hill Partnership, basically. Uh -huh. our, well, Is there's a, what's the website address? DowntownChapelHill.com. Oh, that's easy to I remember. Know. Exactly. <laughs> Even though I can't remember the name of the organization. <laughs> well, you know, they have these names yeah, that are just, yeah, but right. what, what matters is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. It's so great to reconnect yes, with you after all this COVID stuff know, and exactly. everything's closing. And now yeah, it looks like we're yeah. back on track. Yeah, I really get the sense right now that, you know, there was the idea, I think, during COVID that people were just going to, kind of hunker down and kind of and which I think people are used to that now like but I also get the sense that people really want to come together they need to yeah, you know yeah. I mean it's yeah we need that. we need to stop being afraid I mean right. I know COVID's still out there yes. but yeah no. get it and, <laughs> and hit the streets <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right people yeah people just have an innate feel of wanting to be with others. Exactly. Whatever. Capacity. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. meeting with me and talking with yes. me and it's great to see you. You too, Jackie. Thank you. Much success. Thank you so much.